Hello, I'm Janae Tipsharani with 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With the news, the Federal Reserve has kept interest rates unchanged, but has indicated a rise is still on the cards this year. The US Central Bank has held back from making the first rate hike in nearly a decade, amid fears global instability could slow the economy. It's sitting tight as it's concerned China's economic turmoil and US stock market volatility will put downward pressure on inflation. Policymakers aren't convinced inflation will move back to their 2% target. This is despite continued gains in the labour market, with unemployment in August falling to 5.1%, its lowest level in more than seven years. Yet the Fed's indicated it still has its sights set on raising rates as e at either of its next reviews in October or December. While its Open Market Committee voted 9 to 1 to hold its benchmark federal funds rate at 0 to 0.25%, it forecasts an interest rate of 0.4% by the end of the year. According to the latest dot plot, 13 of the 17 Fed officials think the bank will raise rates at least once before the end of the year. The Fed's announcement has sparked a flurry of activity in the currencies market. The US dollar initially plunged over a cent against the New Zealand dollar, but has since regained some ground to reach 63.8 US cents. The US dollar has made a similar move against the Australian, while it continues to weaken against the euro. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year benchmark is up to 2.29%. The US benchmark oil price remains at $47 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is at $49 a barrel. The gold price has risen again today to $1,124 an ounce. The New Zealand dollar has strengthened slightly from this time yesterday to 88.6 Australian cents and weakened to 55.9 euro cents. The TWI remains unchanged at 67.7. I'm Janae Tipsharani and that was 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.